Hey, it's Steve here from Delight Breakfast. David Foster, of course, uh, is coaching two of the winners from David Foster's Got Talent. And uh, Andrew's with us now. Yeah, and nice to see you again. Um, saw you at the concert last night. We did. And, and uh, all was good there. And uh, I was looking forward to today because I was really impressed with your video. Wow. Um, well, first of all, a lot of my friends would kill to be in this spot right here, right <laughs> next to you. So. Cool. And I actually want to know that for that video, you see, I, I don't have vocals as good as Audrey, I think. So a lot of the times what I like to do when I actually perform, I do do a bit of performance here and there for my schools or local competitions. What I have to do is um, I do a lot of showmanship. I like to watch Michael Bublé's uh, performances yeah. on stage and I just yeah. copy all his... He's great, isn't he? Yeah, he's a great performer. But your guitar playing was really good too. I mean, you're very versed on the guitar. Do you feel comfortable on the guitar? I feel comfortable on the guitar, but it's... It's kind of like strumming here and there, and looking at the notes. I read the notes off the laptop, oh, actually. I, I, I didn't, it didn't feel that way when I was watching the video. I swear to you, it didn't. It felt very natural. Uh, and then your mom coming in. <laughs> With I the mean, face mask, yeah. With the face mask. My oh, mom. I didn't see that. My eyesight's not that good. She had a face mask on? She had a face mask. Full-on face mask. Oh, my gosh. And right after she came in, my sister dropped in right behind her. Well, we came in together. It got our attention. But it, that's not why we picked you. We picked you because you were good. You know, for sure, you got you have talent. But I heard, Steve, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, you correct me. Um, I heard that you might want to go down the financial road. I'm, I'm pretty much like I've been on that road since fifteen. Really? Yeah, because my dad's in the financial line as well. Mm. Uh, he he does uh, investments and insurance, so he's kind of groomed me all the way. So I, it would be that that's the reason why it would be a bit out of place here. All my friends who um, who actually want to be musicians full time, they're like Andrew, you. You're taking our spot. This we could be directed to David Foster. It's a big opportunity, <laughs> and it's wasted on you. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's wasted. I mean, I, I I I think that something really good will come out of this conversation. But all right, let me ask you a question. I have, let's say, I have one million dollars right now, and I want to invest it with Andrew. Where do I, where are you going to put it? Where am I going to put it right now? What kind of market would you like to put it in? Would you like to do into the? Well, I'll go. I'll say risk. medium risk. Medium risk. Low to medium risk. Low to medium risk. First of all, we're going to have a portfolio worked out for you. So, uh, but we're getting really off topic here. We're, we're topic <laughs> I was waiting for you to bring it back. Yeah, we're talking about maybe I'd, I thought maybe I'd get a tip from him. I know, right? <laughs> because he's passionate about finances and he knows a lot about Exactly, it. but when you gave him a million dollars, you know what I thought he would say, David? I yeah. thought he would say, invest it in me and I will give you the best song <laughs> That's that great. would have been, but yeah. it seems like you're so into finance, Andrew. No, um, one thing, I, I have a lot of things that I do, and actually singing is something which I'm the most insecure about. I'm, I'm really, like when I, when I looked at all the con competitors in, in the video, I was like, I never thought that I'll be picked. Some of them had powerful no, voices. I think your voice Audrey. Is, but your voice goes really well with your playing. The whole package was good to all me. Right. It was, you know, it was, it, was really, it was really entertaining, you know. I mean, look, if you want to, career and business. I, I just think that you are torn between this financial thing and this and the music thing. If you're not waking up every single morning at 7 a.m. going, I'm going to spend the next 18 hours today on music, if you're not doing that, then you don't belong in the music business. Okay, well the big question is, Andrew, um, and this is not uh, rocket science, I'm sure you, your father said this to you before, five years from today, where do you see yourself? Five years from today, I see myself at manager level in the bank and uh, on my way up to corporate ladder hopefully my dreams are quite big I want to make it international I want to be part of a multinational company yeah five so years. that kind of answers the question it does, I mean, it? yeah it, this is not a guy that's sitting here going I want to be the next John Mayer you know I want to be the next Justin Timberlake that's not what he's saying you know but what you have is you have this um, amazing um, charismatic uh, personality. Yeah. But as, as far as your vocals are concerned, um, you think he's got a great vocal. So. I think he sounds really great, you know, but it's not, it's, it's not his burning passion. It's his hobby. It's a hobby, yeah. That's right. It's his hobby. So and if he wanted to improve on that hobby, what could he do? Uh, he'd have to spend more time on it. And I don't think that that, I think that's a waste of his time. Uh, and, but I have one question uh, related to music. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I mean, in that uh, good thing about these kind of videos, these kind of short videos, is that you could really take the best part yeah. of your song and, and you did and put it and put it there, but um, the rest could really sound bad. <laughs> so that's that's the problem for me um, because 
I could sound good at some parts, but the consistency is just not there. Right, and you're right. I noticed that because when you sang with Audrey earlier yeah. on, you weren't as on your game as in that 15 right, yeah. video. Only if I just hit like certain high notes or certain relatively high notes, yeah. then it could kind of sound okay. But other than the consistency is yeah. up and down here and there. So you're 22, so you're on the right path. The financial path with the music thrown in and all that you know about music and all that show is just a... It's a slam dunk. Yep. Thank you, David. Thank cool. you, Andrew. All right, man. Thank you, David. Good Thanks, luck to so you. Man. This is just after the David Foster's Got Talent session for Andrew. And uh, how was it for you, Andrew? Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Steve and Light of Family, hey, for no giving worries. me the opportunity welcome. to meet David. But it's okay. You don't have to butter anybody up. You, the, it's over. No, it was <laughs> just. Really great. I'm, I'm, I'm so. You know, a lot of my friends would kill to be in my spot. All right. So, and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and he's such a nice guy. He's so warm. But it's, it's really sad though because you know you were part of a singing competition yes. but it seems like your focus is still on finance. Yeah, that's right. But I could see that there was a bit of um, disappointment from David because well, he, he thought that I could sing really well but I had another path in mind. In, but at the same time, he was really, he gave really great advice. He said that whatever I have right now, I could apply it into whatever I'm doing in the future and uh, maybe in a few years down the road, I could be his financial advisor. <laughs> <laughs>